So guys, today we're here at Bill Clemens RV World and we're just went to set them a rule hall. So we're gonna show you some different RVs that are available for you. Uh, you don't have to buy an expensive truck unless you have one, but the RVs that we're gonna show you today are mostly SUV friendly, all right? They're gonna weigh less than 9,000 pounds and there's a lot of SUVs that can tow up to 10,000 pounds depending on your setup. So you might wanna check your vehicle for your towing capacity, but we're just gonna give you some different options to uh, check out today. We are loved by camping, inside girl, outside guy, inspiring others to get outside and explore God's land. This is a Grand Design 21 BHE. I am loving it already, it's compact. And it says it has, it has Arctic insulation, so it's a four season RV. And so let's check it out. Okay, this RV weighs 63.98. That's the gross vehicle weight. Um, so that's what the weight is when stuff is inside it. That's the gross, the most it can be. And it's 24 feet In, 24 long. feet long. All right, let's come on in. This would be a perfect rental for us. I love it. Bed. It has a Murphy bed, which folds out like this. And then this little thing comes down. Oh, you gotta take the latch off. <laughs> and then your mattress comes down. All right, so during the daytime, you can have um, a couch, and then at night, you have a bed. Perfect. Very RV or very SUV friendly. Yes, and you've got all the storage just over here, drawers. Um, this is really neat. They actually have a nightstand on either side of the bed, which I think is pretty cool. Um, with plugs, so if you had a CPAP um, or you need to plug your phone up or all that good stuff, it's right there. And then they have just tons of storage, which is pretty cool. And our TV. So you can watch the TV in the bed, and I'm sure it probably is on an arm so that it comes out and you can see it all over. One of the things that I love is that this has your campsite seating so you can sit right here and look out the window which is on your campsite and hopefully if you're sitting beside a lake or something you have a great view a lot of rvs have the seating on the other side so you can look out the window but most of the time you're looking at somebody else's rv not necessarily a view they also have some great storage above here so great place to put dishes and um, other things that you need and it's big enough, you could even put a duffel bag or something up here if you needed to. Another cool thing are bunk beds, and these are full-size bunk beds. So, you know, an actual person can get in here. Um, I don't see a ladder, but that's probably something that you could add if you needed to. They, they probably have a ladder underneath in storage somewhere, on, probably underneath Maybe. the RV. Or, you know, adventurous children probably just climb on top of the dining and hop on do. in there. But um, it has a nice privacy um, so, to come across. Um, they're USB in the top of here, so kids can plug up their phones or any type of stuff that they need to. Uh, windows at the top and the bottom, which is pretty cool because a lot of times there's a window at the bottom, but the person at the top is just closed in. So um, that's pretty cool. Not to mention, you can also do a ton of storage back in there. So before I go in the bathroom, the kitchen area, I see tons of storage for your cabinetry here, like a pantry. That's pretty cool. It's deep, so you can get lots of food, your paper towels, your paper products, if, if you're using any of that kind of stuff, you can go in here. And a nice size refrigerator. Not a big residential, but most of the time, if you're in one of these smaller RVs, you probably aren't gonna be spending all of your time here, but I like it. We had two travel trailers before we had our fifth wheel, and this size refrigerator was just fine for us, actually. Uh, microwave, a little bit smaller than what we have, but you still have your um, lovely cooktop here and an oven. So you can still bake your biscuits and pizza and all the other kind of stuff, um, cookies and that kind of stuff. And you got great drawers here to be able to put silverware, um, you know, your pot holders, 
and all that good stuff. And look, is this another drawer? What? Plenty look at that. That is a great place for your pots. And an RV this size, a lot of times it's an issue where you're going to put your pots and stuff like that. And look at this grand design. You guys thought of everything with this one. I like it. Um, then you've got a little, you know, I'm all about decor. So this with the glass is, is pretty snazzy. I like that a lot. But it kind of hides um, some of your stuff. This is to control the TV, I'm pretty sure. Yes, in your um, speaker system. But it also gives you a place to put stuff. And it's cute, but the glass is dark. So you won't actually see all of your stuff packed up in there, which I really like. Okay, now to see the bathroom. And guys, this bathroom is pretty cool for this RV to be the size that it is. I am loving it. Um, you can pretty much come all the way in here. You've got lovely built in here for towels. And if you roll your towels, you can get a whole lot of towels in something like this. And I know I'm like pint sized, but you can get all the way in the shower, right? And there's plenty of room, I'm short, but if you're tall, they even have like a little cutout up here to allow skylight. more headroom. It's a skylight, <laughs> thank you, Jim, that allows more room. I like it. And I like that it has a window. Right? Because it gives you a little light. It's morning time. We're going to wake up, go out on the campsite. Um, but you also have room here for toiletry items um, and a huge um, under cabinet here. And they even thought of having a medicine cabinet. So boom. When you're camping, it is great to be able to cook outside. It keeps all the smells and that kind of stuff on the outside. So this one has a pretty cool two burner cooktop out here for you to be able to cook. A refrigerator. Keep all your stuff nice and cool, your beverages, but also a space for you to put other stuff. So let's say you have a skillet or something else that you're using to cook with, um, you can store it here. We like to use um, the Blackstone grill. So you could definitely store it here, even if you pulled it out. And I'm sure they have, oh, it's right here, the propane hookup. So if you brought another type of, of grill, you could definitely plug it in right here. Guys, I really like this one. This is a J Feather Micro. Um, it goes off grid, so you got big tires. It's raised up off the ground so that you, if you needed to go over some rough terrain, you can do it. I really like it. It's a 166 FPS. It's about 5,000 pounds. I'm not so sure how long it is. This is definitely but SUV friendly. Definitely SUV friendly. And I kind of like it. I really like it. You have a couch here that lets out. It's probably a jackknife. There's a table behind here so that you can actually sit here and eat your food. Kitchen, so you still got your three burner cooktop. You've got a microwave, no oven. Interesting. So this may be a convection, I'm not sure. But lots of nice big drawers. So still you can put your pots and pans in here. Lots of places for you to put stuff. Smaller sink but lots of cabinetry. Fridge is over there. Kind of nice that it's built in with the cabinetry going on. More storage. I like it. There's storage over here as well, so if you needed to put more food type items, you can do that inside the slide. This is on a slide. This is wired for solar. Wired for solar, which is awesome. Lots of plugs, your USB, TV. I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of built in. Lots of drawers here to put more stuff. So they did a good job, I think, in the storage department. Um, this is kind of neat. These are vitamins. You know I love decor. So how cool is that? But not only that, they are storage. So you can put stuff down in here, but also have them when you're trying to watch TV and then when you want to eat, you can simply put them back and the bathroom. So for it to be small, you got a full bath. 
got the skylight up here so you can and it's dome shaped so if you were tall you can get in there they've got storage here a medicine cabinet and a small place if you needed to put a couple towels you could definitely roll them and put them there so this is one you can definitely take off grid yes 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 you can definitely take it off grid. and again you can pull it with an suv yes one of the things we love about camping is that we always meet really cool people so even when we're not technically camping but just shopping we met an awesome couple that we just struck up a conversation with they've been camping for a while so i'm gonna let you introduce yourselves my name is sheree and i'm wayne <laughs> and how long have y'all been camping about five years camping for five years do you have an rv right now or? we do we have a 31 foot springdale okay and you're in the market for uh, right now we're actually just looking but we would like to upgrade to a fifth wheel at some point okay we started okay. out small getting a little bigger yep and uh, you know how uh, you know how women are they <laughs> they like beer wait, wait what you trying to say what, what you trying to say i think you said it <laughs> i think you did what you trying to say about women wait. look at that really cute dish towel okay. cute cute my other thing that I like are camping hats. Love them. Look at that. All right. We are standing in front of our all time favorite, our dream RV, which is a Momentum M Class toy hauler. One of these good days, it'll be ours. So soon. Soon. Trust me. Soon. Okay. But thank you guys so much for joining us as we shop today looking for RVs that are towable by a suv we hope that you will click like subscribe and leave us a comment are there some other videos that you'd like to see and if you have an rv please comment what you have and where you're towing it with all right and what you like about it <laughs>